One of the common issues with AI-generated images is the quality of the hands. If you want to know how to fix hand problems, or increase your chances of making good hands, this tutorial is for you. First, we try to use negative prompt, then we use Laura, and then focus in paint tool. See all the sections and use the tips. Focus is a free stable diffusion tool that based on your computer, you can run on your system or collab and then generate and edit your images using many interesting models. If you're not familiar with Focus, check out my previous videos to learn more about this tool. I want to test with and without negative prompt and compare the result and answer the question whether it can help or not. I will test with this prompt. You don't need to write long and complicated prompts in Focus. Focus recommends you use short and concise prompts. Change the settings based on your needs and press generate button. You can see that the hands are not good. I generate with this prompt again, and this time I use the negative prompt. Some results are good and some need improvement. In section 3, I use the InPaint tool to edit these images. Sometimes the negative prompts don't really work. The result is not perfect, but maybe better than without. You can try it, maybe it will help you. In this video, we saw how to install the model from Civit AI. Now I will show you how to install LoRa and use it. I want to use this LoRa to fix hands issues. Focus supports SDXL models. So when using LoRa or model in Focus, check its base model. Pay attention to trigger words that you should use in your prompt to make this LoRa work. Check LoRa and model description and see the recommendation. Based on this LoRa, it can be seen that using realistic stock photo model can help more. So I also use this model. If you want to work with collab, use these codes. Add model name here and use an underscore instead of a space. Right click on the download button and select copy link address and use the link here. Do the same for LoRa. Now we use these codes in collab. But if you want to use this model on your computer, download it and put it in this path. Also for LoRa, download it and put it in this path. In collab, cut the last line of code. This line loads the focus interface. Add code cell for model and LoRa. You can save a copy of this notebook to your Google Drive and use it later. Run the cells one by one. You can also upload your model to Google Drive and load it here. I will show you in another tutorial. From here you can see the model and the LoRa that you have installed. Run the last cell and click the link in the public URL part. Select the model and the LoRa that you installed. You can change LoRa's weight and determine how much it affects the results. Test it with different values. When downloading and using the model in your generation, you can disable the styles to better see the result of the model. You can use styles if you want. Don't forget to use trigger words in your prompt. In the first test, I want to use negative prompt, and in the second test I will remove it. Not perfect, but not bad. We can improve them in section 3 and make them better. I will test again without negative prompt. I get better results in the first test. Test this LoRa with and without the negative prompt and see the difference. You can change LoRa's weight and test again. In this image, I want to fix the hand. Active the input image. Click on the in paint or out paint tab. Upload or drag your image here. Hold the shift key and use the scroll wheel to zoom in or out on your image. I want to fix the issues one by one. So, first I remove the extra part. Use the brush tool and mask the extra finger. Press or on your keyboard to reset the zoom of your image. We have two options. Use in paint or out paint when you want to remove or change a part. Use improved detail when you are satisfied with the result, but want to make it look better. 
When you want to change a part, you can do it without prompt. But when you want to remove part of the image, it's better to write a prompt and explain what you want to change it to. Increase the image number to see different results. Press the Generate button. You can see a preview of the result here. In this step, we don't need a perfect image. Select one image that is better than the other. Drag the image down to use for the next step. Clear the mask. Mask the area where you want to fix it. We use the default method again. Now we select an image and use another method. Drag the image down. Clear and mask the area that you want to make it better. Select the Improve Detail method. When using this method, we need to add a prompt and describe what we want to in paint. You can write your own prompt or use these prepared ones. Now we get better results. So, use in paint or out paint method to fix the issues, then use the improve detail method to make the result better. Let me know in the comment, with which one were you able to solve hands problems. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.